guys. Do you see all that? Do you see all that? Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul. If it is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad that you came over. I usually do cleaning motivation, grocery hauls, lots of things to keep you moving through your day. And I hope this grocery haul gives you some inspiration on all the meals that y'all have to make. Because right now, we're all making tons of meals and at home all the time. So yeah, needed the groceries. So if you don't know, I live outside of Charleston, and South Carolina just got put on a little bit of a grounded order. I guess you could say we got grounded. That's what me and my husband keep telling each other. So they shut down all essential stuff weeks ago, um, but now they're even shutting down more, making sure that like people stay at home. And I thought, you know what? I need to go grocery shopping anyway. It had been almost a month since I had gone, and I had gotten like a few snack things here and there but I really needed to make a meal plan and just go so this was a meal plan for about 20 meals and yeah it was ridiculous I went to Publix grocery store everybody had masks on gloves like it was interesting <laughs> But I tried to do a pickup order. It wasn't going to be able to be picked up till like Friday. And I tried to do a delivery order. There wasn't even any slots. Like it was horrible. So I went to Publix, which is a more expensive grocery store, which I wasn't too thrilled about. But I felt like maybe there would be less people. And it was so we didn't have to wait in line or anything but we are definitely hoping that all of this lasts us for at least a month and by my very full counters you can tell that it probably will so without further ado let's get to the groceries so it costs about seven hundred dollars yes i'm dying inside but that's about 350 every two weeks which isn't awful but isn't good um, the only difference is that my husband is home, so he's eating breakfast and lunch here, and it just makes us actually make more in kind of like regular meals instead of just quick things, so it's been a little crazy. So let's get on to everything. I got a crazy hodgepodge of fresh stuff, so let's go through that first. I tried to organize it. But y'all, I got tired. So, um, romaine, just for salads. We eat salad like almost every night with dinner. And so I got baby, um, or no, this is actually spring mix and uh, spinach. So that's kind of a staple thing that I would get no matter what. Most of this stuff is staple that I would get no matter what. So it's not really out of the ordinary. It's just kind of a bigger amount, I guess you could say. Um, parsley, this is actually, and I got parsley and cilantro somewhere in here. I think this is cilantro. A um, couple meals. I got apples, and I needed the apples and the parsley actually for, we're going to do a Passover dinner, which we're not Jewish, um, we're Christian, but we um, found this Passover meal tradition. We are going to do it with our church and host it. And because of everything that's going on, we can't host it in our home, but we decided to still do it just with our family and remember Passover. So a couple of random things are in here for that. I uh, went ahead and got spaghetti sauce. These are not the kind I usually buy, so I bought a mushroom kind and an Italian sausage. I do buy this brand, and I really, really like it. I like the garlic and olive oil ones the best, so I felt like it was better to get some than not get some because that is a shelf-stable meal. Um, this cornflakes is actually for cornflake chicken. It's my grandmother's recipe. I think I'm going to do a video on it. If I have a video, I'll put it here for you guys. Uh, this is just my favorite cereal, and then I have a few different canned stuff, but I didn't get a whole bunch of canned things, but they're all in random places, so, um, I really wanted to try these seasoned ones, and they had a big stock of them, this Margaret Holmes, and I saw Love Meg actually gets these, so I got a few of these, I actually got some other beans too, 
I wanted to make some yogurt in my Instant Pot, so I thought that I would probably want to sweeten it, so I just went ahead and got sweetened condensed milk. Um, tomato paste, I think that's for uh, the Pioneer Woman's Red Wine Roast recipe that I'm going to make actually for Passover. Garbanzo beans, um, just because I wanted some, I figured I could roast these up and have that for a snack. Trying to not have tons of snacks, but you'll see I got junk food too, as does everybody in their house right now. Red wine, this is actually cooking wine, and I we don't drink or anything like that, and so this is great just to buy when I need something. And so this is two cups, which is exactly what I need for my red wine roast. Um, I wanted to try this because um, I see it actually on the bunches of lunches. Jennifer uses it a lot, so I wanted to try it. Never tried it before. Uh, of course, got apple juice for my little guy. Um, we got sparkling apple cranberry because you need um, to drink. It says like during the Passover meal you drink four different times, and it's supposed to be a cup of wine or like grape juice or something like that um, because we didn't drink and we didn't want wine, we got sparkling cider, so hopefully that's good. I needed four things of green chilies. I cook a lot of Mexican food. I really tried to like kind of perfect that. My husband is Hispanic, so I tried to perfect that early in our marriage. I feel like it's probably the one thing that I cook really well. Um, Parmesan cheese, just because we needed more. This is my favorite salsa. It's called Green Mountain Gringo. I actually got some for just like chips and dip, but I also got it for my chimichanga meal. If you guys haven't seen my baked chimichangas, they're an awesome, easy weeknight meal. So easy to do. So I will put a card right here for that. So let's get through all the crazy here. Regular Regular iceberg lettuce for tacos. We have tacos every Tuesday. It's a fun thing that my son loves. I think this is, yeah, this is, this is parsley. Turnips. I thought I wanted to try these actually instead of potatoes in my um, roast. I just thought that would be good. I hear good things about them from Jay Morrell. See, I'm telling you guys all my favorite YouTubers too. So, you know, um, lemons and... I'm blanking on the recipe that I needed them for, but I know I needed two. Got some avocados, um, zucchini. When I make a salad, I put a lot of things in it, and I dice it up really small. That's my key. That's why my kid eats a lot of it. Um, he has no idea, and he eats all this. So does my husband, who doesn't like vegetables. So dice everything really small. I couldn't find any broccoli. That's the one thing they were out of. Tons of kale. This, I actually got kale for um, a Olive Garden soup, like a copycat recipe. And I got some just to have and mix into salads and smoothies. All the things. Some regular garlic, some green onions, some radishes. This is asparagus. These are cucumbers. Big thing of tomatoes because I'm making some pico de gallo. So, and that's just uh, red onion, which is somewhere around here. Tomatoes and cilantro. I got some limes for that as well. It's always, always good with fresh limes. And they were on sale, so I got a few more than I normally do. Um, celery, because for soups and we eat this, I actually got this to make some shrimp tacos and then I couldn't make I couldn't get shrimp there um, that wasn't already cooked or deveined. Sounds weird. I was looking for raw like already deveined and all that. Didn't have it. That's okay. I'll use this regular tacos. It's a really good um, recipe that I got from a country life and she does this shrimp taco recipe but it's really good on tacos. This coleslaw mix. It's really, really good. Um, got some green beans. I'm actually going to snap and freeze uh, one bag and keep one bag out. There's that red onion we were looking for. Saw this asparagus after I picked up the other asparagus. This one actually looked a lot better. And um, this will be great for grilling because it's thicker. And so that'll be good. Oh, and that stuff on the floor okay back to it i know i know get in the game here lacy get in the game 
uh, tomatoes. These are just actually for salads. I think there was a recipe I needed something with that. Um, I got some gala apples. These were just to eat. The Granny Smith ones actually have to make something for the Passover meal. It's like a sweet, um, they call it something. I don't even remember what it's called. And it needed apples. Got some grapes. Salad kits. Caesar salad kits. My favorite ones are from Costco. So if you're at Costco, grab the Caesar salad kit. I know um, it's a little bit more, but oh my gosh, it's amazing. Uh, so I got two of them because, you know. We love salad around here. Like I said, literally every single night I make a salad with dinner. So, um, got some spinach. This was actually for smoothies because I had some frozen uh, fruit, and I thought, you know, I need to make, I need to do that. Um, got some strawberries because they were three for ten. Was craving strawberries. Really wanted to get some from like the farm, um, but I knew I wasn't going to be out that way. I just know somebody who has a farm. And so I just grabbed some at the store. Mushrooms, I cut these up really fine and I put them in salads. Nobody knows, let me tell you. My child has a birthday coming up. Are your kids any birthdays during this crazy time? Um, so I'm making a cake. So I got some cocoa so I could make some buttercream frosting. I have never done that, but I thought, why not? These are some jalapenos, and this is specifically to make the Chewy's jalapeno dip, and I will link that video right here. Guys, it's amazing. It's a dip. Even though it has jalapeno, it's amazing. It's good. It's not spicy. It's so easy to make. Cottage cheese, because I eat this a lot in the morning, and then one I actually needed for a recipe. Some relish and some alfalfa sprouts. I really wanted to make some uh, croissant sandwiches that had alfalfa sprouts, because I really like those. Maybe carrots, because my guys love them. Carrots, this is actually for the roast. And then some tortellini, because this is such an easy meal. And I got the family size. Over here, just one thing of Texas toast. That'll last us at least two meals. And then this is all the meat. So there was parameters. You could only get so many things in each section. And then in other places in the store, you could only get so many items of each one, I guess it said. So I tried to follow the rules. They didn't say anything when I checked out, so I guess I did okay. Um, but I think it was like supposed to be like two in each protein is what I'm guessing, but I don't know if I followed that or not. I guess we'll find out. So the, we're actually going to grill these steaks for Easter because I could not find a ham and I don't know if they were just somewhere that I didn't see them, but there was, they weren't on the meat counter and I didn't see them anywhere else. Me and my husband, um, baked actually some wings one of the first nights that we moved here, we just moved, if you haven't known about that, I just moved into my dream house, and I will link the house tours right here. I'm so excited. It's like so much more than I deserve. Oh my goodness, guys. But one of the first nights, we actually got these from Publix, and so I got um, two more, and I'm actually going to use one of the chicken bones for uh, Passover dinner, because you need that on the Seda plate. So I'm not going, I'm not super traditional with this, I guess, Passover dinner, but I'm trying and that's all that matters. Uh, one thing of bacon, cause I am pretty sure I have one in my freezer. I got these chicken tenders, like tenderloins because I have a recipe. It's fettuccine Alfredo. It's a Mandy in the making recipe. So good. And, um, it's so much easier when you use the tenders. So I just went ahead and got those. This was actually not on my meal plan, but I did not have any, but I'm going to take it out and, um, oh no, I'm not going to separate it. But, um, this is, I usually make country fried or I usually make, um, I guess you could call it like a fried pork chop, like a breaded type of thing. It is like amazing country good. Like this country cook really showed me the recipe and how to do it. You guys, it's amazing. I'll link the video here. I got some Italian sausage for that um, Olive Garden copycat soup. And I got a roast. And this is actually what we're going to make for Passover. It doesn't look so good with all that marble. So good. So we're actually going to have roast for Passover. Are you guys tired yet? I'm super tired. 
and I have to put all this away. <gasps> okay, let me show you. Um, the rest of the stuff is sectioned off a little bit better, so let's get to it. All right, so stuff that fell on the floor was rosemary, and that's for my um, roast, my red rind roast. Basil is one's for the fettuccine. I can't remember what the other one's for, but they're on the floor, and we're just going to scoot them over for now. Oh, over here is kind of my dairy. Over here is kind of my dairy section, I guess you could say. Here we go. Some meat. I actually usually buy rolls of turkey. They did not have anything like that. So I got um, these two things of turkey. I would have liked to have got four things of turkey because that's what I use for tacos. And it is so good. I feel like it's so much better. If you haven't tried ground turkey for tacos with taco seasoning, oh my gosh, y'all, it's so much better. Hot dogs for one meal, so I got eight of those. The Nathan's brand. We were out of lunch meat, and so I actually got this bigger one. Um, my son likes ham, and he calls it a king's lunch. I have no idea why. It's ham and cheese sandwich. And um, corn tortillas, which is what we use usually for our tacos. For chimichangas and different things, we use the soft flour, corn tor flour tortillas. So I got two of those. Uh, for a noodle bake that I make, I use um, this pasta, the egg noodle pasta. There's more pasta back there. We'll get to it. The um, cheese here is crazy because it's for a month, so don't freak out. I'm looking at it freaking out, but you know how that goes. Um, this was actually specifically for a recipe. This was me being paranoid, not thinking I had enough. This is eight cups of Colby Jack. I like to use Colby Jack because it's like so versatile. So I feel like I don't have to buy Sharp and Monterey Jack and all that. I can just buy Colby Jack. It goes in most everything. And then I only have to buy one kind of cheese. So that's an eight cup. And this um, Parmesan cheese is actually for the fettuccine Alfredo. I got some cream cheese. This is for a recipe. At this is just for bagels. I got one thing of thin spaghetti, uh, one thing of elbow macaroni because I have a uh, just a really simple. Uh, it was actually my mom's recipe, super simple like macaroni salad. So I was gonna make that with hamburgers one night, which is kind of a weird, unlike meal for me, but it's it's a weird time, right? I was having tons of trouble finding um, pancake mix. So I grabbed this one and then I actually ended up getting a couple different alternatives. But I know it's they're shelf stable and it will get eaten so I wasn't super worried about it. These are my emergency Lunchables when my child is doing homeschool, which we are finishing. He's just walked by. We're finishing the fifth grade here at the end of the week. Woo -woo. And um, during school a lot he gets kind of I don't know what you would say but um like I guess he's frustrated and kind of hangry and so nothing sounds good I say what do you want for lunch and he wants nothing so I'll, I always get emergency lunchables because those always sound good and then I don't have to hear about it so sometimes it's worth it right uh butter because we are out of it Got some bow tie pasta. This I use specifically for the fettuccine Alfredo. Stocked up on some mac and cheese. Stocked up on some Velveeta. I know that looks like a lot because it is, but you know. Went ahead and got some rice. They were two for four, so I went ahead and got two. I would have normally only got one, but I like that at least for a month us having two. I think that's actually a lot better. I could not find any chicken bouillon cubes at all. They did have beef ones, so I got this instead. It's not my favorite to buy it this way, but it's it's okay. I got coconut oil because I saw somebody using it in popcorn. I really wanted to try that. We've been air popping and doing different things like that, so I really wanted to try that. And... Back here, I actually got some chocolate chip pancake mix. This was like totally wiped out. The shelf was wiped out. There was no regular. This was all left, and this was the last box. So I grabbed that. They were on sale for buy one, get one free, and so I'm sure that's why. Um, I'm not sure if my kid's actually going to like the chocolate chip pancakes. Unlike most kids, he doesn't like chocolate milk. He won't order these at a restaurant, but I felt like... Maybe he'll give him a try. I don't know. Either way, me and my husband will love that. A special treat. 
and got some chicken stock and some beef broth and those were just for recipes. I couldn't find any time to save my life. So, a time plant, right? Doesn't everybody get a time plant? This was actually like $2. It smells so good. It's gonna be amazing, I can't wait, I can't wait. If they would've had a basil one, I would've got that one too. I'm very excited. I kind of envision my homesteading this coming out. My uh, husband always says that I'm a hippie, so let's go on to some more groceries. All right, have you ever seen so much craziness in your life? Yes, needed walnuts for my Passover dinner. Got some Bisquick for all the things, pancakes, baking, all the things. Like I told you, my little guy's having a birthday. He's turning 11, super special. And so I always make a checkerboard cake. I have made it every year since he was one years old. And so I got a white cake and a devil's food cake. And he loves it. He expects it. And I'm kind of excited to make it too because I use my grandmother's pans and it's just nostalgic random lot of cereal I know so I got Cheerios for my child I got Rice Krispie treats to make rice or Rice Krispies to make Rice Krispie treats but I couldn't find any marshmallows frosted flakes for the hubby and I just got the big boxes because I just didn't know when I was going to get back to the store and um, frosted mini wheats just to have and this is so funny this is the only thing my husband asked for he's not picky at all could care less really easy going really passive but really likes the name brand frosted flakes so funny right this is the rest of my canned random items over here got some refried beans some pinto beans just regular these were some other of those seasoned butter beans that i wanted to try another can of chickpeas garbanzo beans and i just got tomato sauce because i use this in mexican rice uh, bacon bits for the olive garden soup uh, powdered sugar so I can make frosting for birthdays. I got just a little thing of pinto beans just in case because last time I went they didn't have any type of dried beans so I got that. Um, found some yeast. This was more expensive than I've ever paid in my whole life for yeast but I like to make bread. I will link a recipe here to my favorite bread if you guys haven't seen that here. It's the best bread ever. Every, but every time I make it, people ask for the recipe. They just love it. So I actually got six of these, but they were $5 a piece. Um, got taco seasoning. Um, I was afraid I would run out. I usually get the big one from Costco. And for some reason, I, I knew it was low, and I didn't know how low. So I just got these because they're like a dollar. This is gold. Oh, my gosh. You know when you're so excited that you find something? That's how I felt about this. You could only get two things of flour. Didn't matter what size, but only two. And I found unbleached all-purpose flour, which I was super excited about. And I found a King Arthur one, which I was so excited about. And they were pretty much, the. this was the last one of the King Arthur. And they had more of this one, but I am partial to King Arthur myself. Candles for the birthday. Whipping cream for recipes. I needed like a weird amount, so that's why I had to have two, but I'll just make some homemade whipped cream and we'll have it with strawberries. This is the milk that my guys like and I like. Helps all the bellies, so if you have any belly issues, get this milk. I hear that there's good um, yogurt that you can make in the Instant Pot out of this milk too, which I'm going to try. Orange juice, which is like a staple in my house. That will be gone quick in a hurry. Uh, two things of bagels, which me and my husband have really been liking bagels lately. Um, I have really been craving the everything one, so I got an everything one. And he just likes good old-fashioned plain, so that works too. Uh, sour cream, because I needed this for recipes. Taco night, all the things. Uh, I've never tried this one before, but the regular coffee that I get that's already like made like this... It's like the cold brew that's already made they didn't have. So I thought, well, let's try this one and see. And this seemed like the only sweetened one. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure I'll like it. 
uh, two things of croutons, like I told you guys about salads. I love these pita chips. Oh my gosh. And these are our guilty pleasure, these croissants. Got one thing of bread because I had some bread in the freezer, so I just grabbed one. Hamburger buns for hamburgers. Hot dog buns for hot dogs. Random wanted some of this instead of having soda for like days and days and days got some uh got some applesauce for my child this was like you could only get two as well so i just went ahead and got two because i just wasn't sure how if they would have more later um i was completely out of salt so i went ahead and got some salt they were only like 75 cents a piece so i went ahead and got that no big deal but you know you have to have salt in your diet so this is all my junk food so judge away it's all my junk what can you do these are actually for Easter and it's like the dessert I got for Easter uh, these are my son's favorite cookies so I just got one of those and the cookie aisle let me tell you as my hand talks here the cookie aisle is straight dab in the middle of the store when you get tired and I feel like they put it there on purpose, so then you impulse buy cookies. Yep, and that's exactly what happened. So I got some cookies, these elf cookies, and my husband got some Nutter Butters. I got some chocolate chip ones so that we can just break off and make. And I thought that would be fun. My kid would like that. Um, got some more granola bars. I had a box, so I just got one more. He loves goldfish. I have no idea. I'm sure they're they're not good for you, but you know. These are our favorite Pop-Tarts, so I got four boxes to last us hopefully the whole month. Got one thing of fruit snacks, because sometimes my kid loves these, gobbles them up. Sometimes he doesn't. Can't tell why or who or how or why that happens. Um, just a syrup for the pancakes. Random Pringles, because I wanted them. I got some Capri Suns. I got three of them. I didn't want to go crazy or anything, but I did get three because this is trying to make this all last at least a month, if not more. Golden raisins because I needed these for that recipe with the apples that I told you guys about for Passover. And I got my son a thing of um, Dr. Pepper. Actually, my husband got that. I wouldn't have even remembered. So Some other randoms over here is this is all my husband's like guilty pleasures no they're not they're fine um pizza rolls and he wanted these breakfast sandwiches so we went ahead and got those and these were the only hamburger patties that we could find so we just got those we're only a family of three anyway so that will be fine uh hash browns um just to have so we can you know, breakfast, different things. This cantaloupe just looked really, really good. It wasn't that much, so I just decided to grab it. Almost forgot, I got a couple dozen eggs, and we have eggs almost every single morning, so yep. If you guys know me, you know I love Diet Coke. I know it's terrible, but I love it. Um, we did get two cases of water, and that's what we would normally get for at least a month. And yeah, that is all the groceries. So if you are at the end of this video, thank you so much. Leave me an emoji at the end if you made it this far. I, You guys are amazing and awesome, and I will see you all in my next brand new video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications, and I will see you guys again. Bye for now.